Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas and it is super super early again. So this is actually the next day and I'm continuing this haul for everybody. So if you missed part one of this giant haul, make sure to go check that out. It was posted directly before this one yesterday and it was in categories. So you're going to if you didn't watch that, you're going to miss a bunch of categories and then you're only going to have a few here. But anyway, all right. So I guess let's get started and uh, I'll give you some updates maybe at the end of this video because I just want to get into it. I don't want the intro to be too long. So let's get started. All right. Where to next? Let's do some home decor stuff. All right. So first I picked up this little tiny box. This is from last year, but I'm getting so fed up of them not having any fall or Halloween things from this year. So I did pick these up last year as well, but I just opted to pick up the tiny little one because these come in three different sizes. These are the boxes with the satin ribbon. This one has the blue truck and it says leaves are falling. Autumn is calling with a dark wood look background. So I made some floral arrangements in these, like some fall, fall stuff in here last year and they looked really cute. I had two, a bigger one and a smaller one, but I just picked this up to do something else with because I liked it so much anyway. Next, we have some new ceramic planters. Now, I didn't even know this, so <laughs> my friend Patty over at Patty's Chance Holes and More sent me a picture. She goes, be on the lookout for these, you know, if you see them before I do. She said, new ones, and I said, oh. <laughs> I didn't even know they had new ones, and I might have already passed them by because I didn't know they had new ones. Then, the next time at the store, I found the new ones. So these are the new ones that have come out. You have Sammy the Sloth, Norris the Norwal, Roscoe the Raccoon, and Tyson the Triceratops. So I picked up, what was his name again? Sammy, Sammy the Sloth. And of course, for my son's bedroom, because I thought it was adorable, Tyson the Triceratops. Then I also went ahead and picked up one of the potted succulents, the little square potted succulents. I, the pot would not fit in here, so I removed the foam out of the pot and I just stuck it in here. So that's what Tyson looks like. And there he is with his little succulent. So I was able to tuck the foam in there, <clears throat> but the pot itself wouldn't fit in. So this is what the pot looks like. This is kind of cute too, though. You could do a whole bunch of stuff with this, but I thought this was like the perfect size for like, like equal packets or like sugar packets to put on the table, <laughs> right? Stand them up. It's so cute. So yeah, use that for something else. All right. So that's that. Okay, so the next thing I picked up, you know everything requires a story. So I was at the beach the other day and I decided that I wanted to pick up a few shells and you know, a little bit of sand and kind of make little Long Island, New York um, keepsakes for a few people. Uh, one of those people being my aunt, my aunt and my uncle who are moving to Greece in just a couple of weeks actually. So first thing I did was go into the crafters square section. Sorry, I just got really excited because the label came off one of them super easy, but I think that was a fluke. Anyway, and I saw two that I don't particularly recall seeing. So I got this little one and it got nice and scratched up because it fell. <laughs> It rolled off the table, whatever. So it's these, this little plastic craft jar. And then they also had this shape. So I picked this one up too, because it has a really large opening. And one of the shells I picked up is, is it's like a little disc. It almost looks like a sand dollar. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, but I got these two. Then at another store, I'm like, 
wait a second. So I started thinking about it, and these are glass, but these from like the glassware section, like next to the plastic plates and cups and stuff, they have these adorable little things. So they're like little mason jars with handles, and the majority of them, they have some with holes, but the majority of them don't have holes. So I thought these were really cute and they're nice and small and they look really cute. Um, but you know, the only thing is the opening isn't as big so I can't fit huge shells in there or anything. But I thought that would be really cute to like fill up with a little bit of sand and then some shells, maybe put a tag on it or something, you know, saying Long Island beaches or you know, whatever, something like that. But that's what I got going on right now. Okay. Next, what am I doing? All right, so I, they only had one pack of these. Now, these are the furniture scratch markers. They come in two different sets of shades. They are imported by Greenbrier International. I have, I have a pack, this pack, for my floor, for my wood floor. However, I wanted to have a, a set um, for possibly coloring things or staining things. And I can actually thank Jamie from Jay's Dollar Tree Adventures for that because I was like, oh yeah, that's great. These things work really, really well. So just to like stain or color things like that, this one has cherry, maple, and oak. And then there's, like I said, another, I think a darker pack of this as well, but they only had this one right now. So I figured, let me get it. And then I'll get the darker one just to keep in the craft stash for any time that's needed. Then they had only two of this style. I can't even remember what the other one said. I really can't, but I was contemplating getting it, but I decided against it, but they only had two, and I don't know where they're from, if they're old or new, I, I, I feel like they're old, but this is Special Moments Memories Collection Wall Art, and it's like the block stand-up ones, and it says to travel is to live, and it's got the Eiffel Tower in the back, and I love it, and I kind of say this all the time, I believe in it, greatly so i will be putting this up in my room somewhere i'm so oh my god i love that look how pretty i don't know where it came from but i'm super happy it came from wherever it came from love it okay next um this is like kit uh i don't know kitchen i don't it's my hardest part with, with categories. I don't know where to put anything. Anyway, so. These. Ro, uh, Rosanna Ponzino. The host and creator of the internet's most popular baking show, Nerdy Nummies. Now, I think this is gonna be a thing because I also saw um, Elizabeth at Chi Town Girl haul um, poop <laughs> poop molds for like cupcakes, like poop silicone molds in the same brand. And it is by Wilton. And then it's a special section. So these are candy molds. I picked up three of them. And it's a silicone candy mold. It's got kind of like the um, the emoji with glasses. It's got a heart and it's got a dinosaur. And it just repeats all the way down. So I was like, what? So I thought that was really, really cool. And hopefully I'll start finding more stuff since Elizabeth found something different in that. Um, all right, random, I don't know where to put it. I picked up a three Little Trees black ice air fresheners for my car. <laughs> And then they had these. So I bought two of these just to have one as a replacement. They had these mats that say wipe your paws. I thought they were so cute, but they were all really, really messed up. The paint was really horrible. So I kind of dug through and tried to get the best ones, but they were all very smudgy and 
You see, like, it was very hard to even find two. I think this was the best one. And then this was the second best one, which is not even good, but yeah. But I just love those. So I grabbed those two. All right, then what else we got? All right, let's move on to some clothing. So I just picked up this pink t-shirt. I think I'm going to bleach tie dye it for myself. Um, I still have to do that and I will and I will film it. But it's a pink Gildan extra large woman's t-shirt. Then these were the things that I was super excited about. I was looking for long sleeve shirts because Okay, a t-shirt at a dollar is freaking awesome, but a long sleeve shirt for a dollar is like, what? So, let me show you. So, the first thing I, I actually, I, let me save the best for last. Hold on. All right, so I picked up, what is this one? This is a comfort wash 2XL. It is in this dark blue. And it's long sleeve. That is amazing. So we got that one. And then I got two of these. <clears throat> this is a Hanes Beefy, extra large. And they're both extra large. So I got one of these for me, one of these for my husband. And it is actually a different color, but long sleeve. But it is a different color than the first one I showed you. Can you see? One is like grayer, right? Like a grayer blue. Yeah, there you go. So, all right, so I got the two blues, the one grayish blue, and then I thought this was the best one. This is Hanes Beefy. It's just in a large and this is a long sleeve it's it's a chocolate brown it's a long sleeve henley look at that what is that that's just the look isn't that so cool for a dollar i might even save this for a christmas present i got this for my stepfather though but i think i'm gonna save this as a christmas present why not that's amazing. So yes, Henley. Okay. I tried to change our angle a little bit because the sun's being annoying, but it's still annoying over here. So anyway, um, it looks like my shirt's on backwards, but it's not. Sometimes those Dollar Tree t-shirts fall weirdly. But anyway, all right, moving on. I digress. I picked up a bunch of the reusable tote bags for gift bags. I thought they were super cute, so I just got them to put in the gift bag stash. I got two different sizes, so one is a little larger, still cute and small though, and it's just plain white on the sides, some black and gray polka dots with big gold color polka dots, white on the bottom too, and a, a white handle. So I thought that'd be a really cute gift bag. And then I got these cute little ones. They are so adorable. Perfect, perfect gift size, gift bag size. And that's the bottom. So they do kind of like, you know, flatten out. And I got four different designs in this. And I, I think there was one more too. I didn't get them all. But I got this one with the pink piping and sides. And look, it's all like jungly with all the animals and palm trees. I love it. Love it. Okay. Then I got this more delicate one. It's got like periwinkle trim and handles. And it's got these beautiful little flowers on it. So cute. And then this one is just more funky very 80s early 90s but I do love the purple 
So I grabbed this one and this one. I like this one because it could be masculine. It's harder to find masculine type gift items, but I thought that was nice. Yeah, that'd even be cute as a Christmas gift bag. So I got, that's what I got those uh, five in total for as gift bags. Now let's do some toys. I got a lot of toy type items. All right. So the first thing I picked up is this little two piece mini basketball and hoop set. So it has the little red, white, and blue netting you attach to the rim. The rim folds down and then you get this one little ball and you got the backboard. It has a hole up here. You have to figure out your own way to hang it. But I thought that would be really cute to put somewhere for my son. All right, what else we got? Oh, and then I found the Starlink Battle for Atlas. Um, these little, the guys, the little figure guys. This is uh, Levi McRae, Danger Zone, and he's a pilot. So, and it shows, I mean, I know it's like a PS4 game, but it seems like a pretty cool PS4 game to me. But anyway, since I have the ship and, and things like that, just to put together a nicer gift for like Toys for Tots or, or birthday parties and things like that. So I got um, one for my son for his ship that I haven't given him yet. And then one to go with a Toys for Tots setup of that stuff. Then... My friend Patty over at Patty's Chance Holes and more found the Transformer chalks for my son and I never thought I would find them, but I did end up finding them. So I picked up one more set for Toys for Tots or birthday parties. So you get this large jumbo chalk holder set in Transformers. We never got the um, My Little Pony ones. That's why I thought we would never get these. And then these are in the shapes. So I thought the two of those together would be like an awesome birthday party gift or a Toys for Tots gift. I think that's awesome. So I picked up a set of those. Then if you recall my last haul, I said that um, somebody sent, one of you sent my son one of the glow balls and he loved it and then he lost it. And I was looking everywhere for another one and I found one hot pink one at a store and that was it. Well, yesterday I went to a store and they had a full box of them, a brand new box. So I got three more. <laughs> they don't glow for that long, you know. They only glow for a few hours. Then they're just a ball. It's still fun, but it doesn't glow. So I got blue, green, I think this is the one he lost, and orange. And he's also got that pink one that I didn't give him yet. So now he has all of those. Then I found, now somebody did send me one of these. I still have it. Um, it was a while back, but I found these and I picked them up. I thought it would be cute as a stocking stuffer for my stepfather, who's also a school bus driver. And I, I just wanted to have it. So look at the little school bus. It's fresh metal. So, so cute. And if you're just tuning in for the first time and you don't know, my husband and my stepfather are both school bus drivers. So, well, my husband drives the long bus. My stepfather drives the little bus, but still cute. All right. And then I got these. I've actually never seen these either. I saw people hold them, but these are the little bonbons and they're wrapped like little candies. And this is what you can get in there, little squishies. So I got one for my son's like potty incentive bag. And then I got two, one each to put in, uh, to send to two different friends. And then also to send to another friend, I picked up another one of these solar cat in a boot thingies because I needed another one so that's that all right I think that's it with toys all right let me just show you some random items now I don't know what 
to put them in. I picked this up for friend mail as well. It is this brown little fake leather type kitty cat keychain. And then I picked up two of these for friend mail as well. These are imported by Greenbrier. They come with the batteries. I'm just reading the back, sorry. It does come with the batteries. Um, so these are just key ring laser pointers, red laser pointer, or a super bright LED light. It's a dual function, but I thought sending these to people who have cats would be super fun. So that's what I got those for. Uh, and then I also picked this up. This is the Extreme Tech. This is the kitty cat cord protector. So I picked that up for a friend. Um, and then I picked these up for my friend Patty's son, William. I just found one random pack of them. These are the uh, Marvel, but they are, they are distributed by Greenbrier, but Marvel stickers. And you get, it says one sheet, three, six, eight eight of them and they're kind of puffy I think he'll like that just for fun okay um, then I picked up this little bow tie for a certain little kitty because because it's a bow tie on a kitty yes so I got that uh, all right and I guess we're into stationary and that'll be the last category. Okay. So I got two of these. I got one for me and one for my mom. This is the spiral. You can hang it. It's got the thing here so you can hang it on the wall if you'd like or just leave it flat on your desk because it has the notes section here and then it says shopping list here and this is in the purple tone so I got that one for me and then I got this one for my mom it's lemons and pineapples and this one says notes and shopping list as well it's got a lemon there pineapple there so cute all right so I grabbed those then I picked up this jot 60 page journal that looks like uh, like an alligator type skin or something like that I got this to go with the uh, present the the all those pens that I've been buying <laughs> for my one aunt for Christmas I got this to go with those I'll probably pick up something else I think I have a a book of joy journal so I'll probably throw that in there too hopefully I still have one okay then I found this I thought this was so cool it's by Jot dry erase locker wallpaper and it is in the zebra print and from what I can see it had it changes color like throughout you see so it's you got that and then it's yellow and then I see pink, like a more pink further in, it looks like. But it's dry erase. So I thought you can either, you know, you can frame it, make your own little board, or you can put it on other things when you DIY. Yeah, see? And then there's pink in there too. That's a weird line. That's weird. It's just a super bright yellow line. But, yeah. Does it have a length on here? No. It says best used on metal surfaces. I think you could glue it on whatever you want. So, it's, let me see. It's got, I'm seeing it lift here. So, it's got a backing. Yeah, and it's super sticky. The possibilities are endless. Alrighty. Then, I got two more learning things for my son. So this one, these are um, 
reproducible worksheets. You can copy them if you want, like if you know if you have a, an actual class or if you want them to do it more than one. These are both in the pre-K to K. This one is cut, trace, and paste practice shapes. You get 38 unique worksheets in here. And then this one is alphabet and numbers. And you get 38 in this one as well. That's awesome. So yeah, super cool. So we will definitely be using those. Um, and I think this is the last item. I got these to send in friend mail. I've never seen these either. This, and it's distributed by Greenbrier. Check these out. What on earth are these? <laughs> so these are, it says confidential spy scope pen. I don't even know. Let's see what it says. It says, put scope up to eye to look around the corner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see to your side. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know. It's just a silly little spy scope pen. So I'm putting those in friend mail. But yeah, all right. So that is going to do it for the second part of this giant haul, guys. It really would have been an hour if I put them all together. And I guess now let me just give you some updates. All right. So first update. If you recall, probably last week, I posted a Dollar Tree haul called Dollar Tree Haul and Camping Update in which I told you that we received emails that our camping reservation was canceled for clean up from the storm that came through here. And I told you that um, we ended up shortly thereafter just scheduling another one. And um, we were, you know, okay, cool, fine. And and I kind of explained why it's it was like, it's a little to do, because you're only allowed one campsite per account and we wanted two campsites right next to each other so my mom and i had to time it perfectly and make sure we found two that were next to each other and you know so so it's a little more than just finding one and booking it you know um so we were like okay cool my husband actually like left everything in his truck he's like it's only a few days like i'll just leave the, the the tents and the you know all that stuff um in the in my truck and I won't work for like the next couple of days no big deal I won't schedule work and then about two days later <laughs> we get another email that they canceled that reservation too because they extended this this the, we got this email literally within 10 minutes of me posting that first video, the update. So we get the email and this time they allege they're canceling everything through the 11th of August. Okay, I should be camping right now. I should be on the beach camping right now actually. Today was the beach day and the weather's gorgeous. Yeah, okay. Anywho. So I spoke to my mom. My mom's like, I don't even believe them anymore at this point. I'm like, yeah, neither do I. I don't even know what to do. We're kind of running out of time because my mom's going to start teaching college again, you know, at the end of August. We have other, you know, business things that have to, we have to take care of before the year starts. My husband uh, is waiting to find out when the pick is for the you know the bus driving routes they don't they didn't even tell them when it is yet so like we don't know but there's a lot that has to happen in the next couple of weeks before everything starts back up and you know we're not so free anymore but in any case my mom and I just kind of took a crapshoot and picked another date for more towards the end of August 
don't know if that's gonna work out. My mom actually had to reschedule a doctor's appointment that she had in that time as well. Um, we have to get somebody to watch the dogs because there's no dogs allowed at the campsite. Um, you just like whatever. And I hate to be like negative. I'm not be, I'm like, I don't know. But I was like, I feel like we're just cursed. And even if we do get to go, when now that we scheduled third time's a charm, it's probably gonna pour the entire time. So everybody should just be ready. It's like, well, like that's just how I feel. Whatever, I don't know. I have my DVD players and my popcorn, you know what I'm saying? But. And so anyway, that's where we're at right now. I have no idea what's happening. Um, and then the other update is while I was swimming at my mom's yesterday, we hit 10K. I'm there minding my own business, soaking up some sun and swimming. We hit 10K. It's absolutely unbelievable. And it's all thanks to all of you amazing people. So my genuine, genuine thanks to all of you. I can't, I can't, I can't even believe it. Anyway, I can't. So thank you all so much. It's absolutely unreal. Um, and yeah, I have a, a giveaway that I'm meaning to do. <laughs> I haven't had time to do it, so that has to happen. Um, I still have friend mail I need to open. Um, I have two product reviews that I have to do that are waiting. Um, and yeah, I need to do a whole bunch of stuff around the house today because here is the third update. So the third update is... Um, if you've been kind of following me all along and like know my whole story anyway, so my whole my goal at this point is to go into solo practice and kind of like just open up um, my own firm. So I did form a corporation, so that is done. Um, but I need to learn more, right? Like I need to like learn more. So luckily enough, I found an attorney who is graciously partnering up with me um, and showing me the ropes and has absolutely no problem. And he's like, I got a trial coming up. You come with me to that. I got some virtual hearings going on tomorrow. Come with me to that. Like just awesome. Um, and he said I can do whatever I want as you know come in as little as I want stay in the office go to court with him do like do anything that I choose um, best tailored to like what I want to accomplish um, and then he also said he's like he's like and if you want he's like if I need you know backup he's like I'll throw cases at you he's like you can if I need coverage in court you can go for me if I need something done he's like if you want it like I'll give it to you and I was like yeah sure so that's freaking awesome because I feel like there are not that many attorneys that'll be like yes come learn everything I know and you know essentially become my competition but you know I don't know you know but he's just like really cool he's like super duper experienced he's been doing this for so long and we actually it turns out we went to the same law school um so like we have that in common and um yeah so that's what i'm gonna do and i can do it for as long as i want or as short as i want and he's gonna teach me whatever i want to know whatever areas i want and all of that and he's also going to teach me all of the new stuff with all the virtual things that are now going on because when i left my law job it wasn't virtual yet because uh the uh, essential shit had not hit the fan yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we were still all in person, but now there's a lot of new stuff going on. And he said that the courts over here have actually mentioned that even when they open back up, they're gonna be some type of hybrid and there's still gonna be a huge virtual component that they're gonna stick to. So he wants to teach me all of that and set me up with that because they're using Skype. He's like, I don't know why they're using Skype. Skype is horrible, but that's what they're using. So anyway, but long story short, um, short story long, that is what's going on. And uh, I'm going tomorrow to his office and we're gonna hang out all day and do some hearings. And uh, he's gonna get me uh, the paperwork that you need to form corporations so that I can form corporations for other people. He's gonna get me set up with wills and uh and all of the the stuff that i have an interest in doing i really want to do some real estate too and he said he's got a few real estate transactions coming up so 
it's great because he does everything. He's kind of non-conventional and that's how I want to be. That's what I want to be when I grow up. So, um, it, you know, God is good all the time. And, uh, I got, I, I lucked out and found somebody awesome. So I'm super excited about that. And that starts tomorrow. So for today, I want to get my, uh, my house in order, uh, figuratively and literally and uh and get started so we'll see what happens but that's it <laughs> that's it for now so all right guys thank you for hanging out with me especially if you hung out to hear my spiel on all my updates and until the next video stay blessed my friends i love each and every one of you 10k we did it i can't believe it you guys are freaking awesome all right i'll see you guys all very very soon